Now again, where we've been focusing on a lot more that tropical rainfall is now tropical storm Ernesto and you see from our colorized satellite here, there are thunderstorms all over the place. So this is not a very well compact storm, not a very well organized. It just barely became 40 mile an hour winds as of the four o'clock advisory with that closed off circulation. So this is just at tropical storm status. Now it is expected to get a bit better organized as it kind of quickly clips the northeastern Caribbean, making a more dramatic turn, which interestingly enough is something that the models have been indicating since late last week before this was even a, a wave. It was just kind of a cluster of thunderstorms. It had been indicating this more dramatic turn and sure enough, the models continue and this turn will be a little bit more in the direction of Bermuda. So keeping it well off of the East Coast and more good news with the models in pretty good agreement with the future of Ernesto beside that name storm. Look as we head toward the end of the week, weekend and start of next week. No other areas being monitored and the models not picking up on anything for about the next seven to even 10 days. So we'll take it a day at a time, but I like these stretches when the models are not overly aggressive and they haven't been thus far. Again, we've got to get to the peak of the season, which is September 10th. Highs in the upper 90s, so use caution if you're outdoors. Again, a slight drop in our temperatures and slight increase in rain chances toward the weekend. All right, Chris, thank you. And we here at WWL Louisiana, we love our community, so we're giving away thousands of dollars to local nonprofits through the Tegna Foundation. These grants support causes like education, hunger, and more. If you'd like to apply or you know a group that should, scan the QR code on your screen or you go to WWLTV.com and search Tegna Grant. The deadline to apply is August 16th.